Hello and welcome to the show report of the supporting artist Nara Khan who was supporting Dermot Kennedy live at Cardiff International Arena for the Total Entertainment Podcast. Right, let's get cracking on uh, a bit of background for Nara Khan and then we'll get straight onto his performance. Nara Khan, born January 1st, 1997, is an American singer-songwriter of folk-infused pop who signed to Republic Records in 2017. Khan released his first single, Young Blood, on uh, January 27, 2017, and released four other singles over the, over the course of 2017. His fans are known as Busyheads. Khan made his television debut in 2018 on The Late Show with Stephen Colbert, performing the single Hurt Somebody. Khan released his debut extended play, carrying the same name in January 2018, including an updated version of the title of the song, with fellow Republic Records artist Julia Michaels. Khan was born in Stratford, Vermont. He attended ha- he, t- uh, he attended Hanover sc- Hanover High School in Hanover, New Hampshire. Khan began ri- began writing songs at the age of eight and uploaded them to SoundCloud, where his music began to gain exposure. Khan says that his first job he ever had was working for a valet at at a hotel, where he was later fired for crashing a car. At the age of 17, Khan began working with school friend music producers and this this attracted the attention of his current manager, Drew Stimmons, of of Foundation Artist Management. His music also caught the attention of songwriters such as Dan Wilson, known for his work with Adele Scott Harris, Carrie Underwood, among others. Khan deferred his admission to Tulane University to to pursue his developing music career. Khan also said that two career goals he wished were to be verified on Instagram and have a Wikipedia page. Khan cites that some of his inspirations as Paul Simon, Cat Stevens, Counting Crows, Hoser and Mumford and Sons. Khan has opened up about his struggles with anxiety and depression and has talked extensively about his about how his struggles with these disorders have affected his life. He has spoken about writing these topics and produ- and proved to be therapeutic for him. I've been struggling with anxiety and depression for as long as I can remember, Khan told an Australian news outlet. I didn't know what, what it was until I got into high school. Then, when I started releasing music and seeing it connect with others, I realised it wasn't something I had to be ashamed of and that people were actually connecting to my music. So it's a real thing and a really hard-hitting thing I had to deal with at the time and it sucks and it's shitty. Sometimes it feels like everyone around me is doing well and I feel like I'm kind of missing something. But what's great is music gives me the outlet to express it and it helps other people. So anxiety has its ups and downs. So Khan's discography, his studio albums are Bushyhead, I Was, I Am, Stick Season. And his EPs are Hurt Somebody and Cape Elizabeth. And his singles are Young Blood, Hold It Down, Sink, Hallelujah, Fine, Hurt Somebody, Come Down, False Confidence, Mess, Cynic, Busy Heads, Crazier Things, Pride, Part of Me, Someone Like You, Stick Seasons, Northern Attitude. And other songs have charted as All My Love, Growing Sideways and Homesick. A nice little roundup of Noah Khan's background. Right, so let's see how they actually performed. It's now the next day and I'm recording from home. You could hear my sleepy pug Agamemnon snoring in the background. So let's get on with how the how Noah Khan's performance went. Well, the house lights went down and so did the lighting preset. Some LED uh, light curtains vertically stage left and stage right cross lit the stage in Congo blue and Noah Khan started. He had five LED profiles each side of the stage on LX1 and all those uh, lights crossed the back of the stage giving nice curtains of light. So more light curtain effects but using the profiles rather than the actual light curtains which gave a nice uh, little 3D uh, effect and that was uh, changed from song to song there's a little bit of movement only slow movements because uh, of the pace of the music itself so there wasn't any fast movements with it it's just a little bit of accent moving to uh, make just to change it up a little bit 
Now the lighting was also kept basic but intricate from start to finish. And what do I mean by that? Well, you had static lights but shapes made from the static positions with the odd chase. And there were lots of colour change as well. Every song had, had a different colour change. So you'd have not one colour, you'd have at least three different colours uh, in the mix. Which, they're all complementary colours, so you, at one point, for example, you had Congo Blue with a nice emerald green and a little bit of uh, orange as an accent colour, just to uh, give a nice load of 3D shapes and pleasing colour effects. So it all worked well, really. Now, sound wise, it was quiet, but full of clarity. There wasn't any need for so much power and punch for Noah Khan. I mean, after all, it's soft rock and slight, and some would argue uh, a country style of music. And that is exactly the reason why. So you didn't you didn't need all that punch. And it was very clear you had I'd say 22 karat gold standard on the clarity. Yeah, it did sound really good actually. And why would you need all that power to uh, boom people when you're playing, when your uh, lead singer is playing a, an acoustic guitar? It's just not needed. Anyway, so how was Noah Khan's performance? Well, in places he had fans singing along and uh, lots of loud applauses after every song. He had the patter, as well as having uh, musical abilities, which, which gave an enjoyable and easy listening set. Definitely the kind of set you'd uh, listen to at a summer barbecue. And, yeah, you know, nice entertainment music. Yeah, you know, if And when I say that, uh, entertainment music for uh, garden parties and family get-togethers and whatnot. And also pieces that... Y- You'll be asked, who is this? Oh, this is Noah Khan. Oh, he sounds really good. Uh, what else does he have? Well, he's got these songs as well, so let's have a listen. You know, it works really well. Works really well. And Noah Khan did no wrong, in my opinion. Is his music my taste? Not particularly, but I can appreciate the uh, easy listening aspect and great, great background music. And you couldn't, and I couldn't fault him. You could not fault his performance. He had a very strong persona on stage, and people enjoyed his presence. Thank you for listening to today's podcast. If you've enjoyed today's podcast, please hit like, subscribe, and share. And if you haven't already done so, why not check out more content from Master X Media by clicking the link in the description below? And we shall catch you next time. Bye for now.